First, we are going to install the EDS file that you've downloaded from our website. Go to the EDS hardware installation tool from the tools menu. Select register an EDS file and browse to the location where you've downloaded the file. Click next for the remaining screens and then click finish. Now that we have our EDS file installed into RS Logics, let's create an instance of a ConveyLinks module in ZPA mode. Go to your Ethernet tree and right-click the Ethernet icon and select New Module. To make it easier, use the filter so it only shows items from one vendor and scroll to Insight Automation. Select ERSC and click Create. Enter the name you want to use as it will appear in your Ethernet tree and in your controller tags. Enter the IP address of your ConveyLinks module and then click the Change button. For the data type, select INT for integer. Click Yes to the Change Module Definition question. Because we are in ZPA mode, we want to change the RPI value to something like 200 milliseconds. Just for fun, let's check the controller tags to make sure that the module was created correctly. For our newly created tag name, there should be an integer array of 21 registers for the inputs and an integer array of 25 registers for the outputs. Now let's create an instance for a module in PLCIO mode. We repeat the same process for creating a new module. You need to give it a different name and IP address from the one we created previously. Be sure to click the Change button. From the drop-down, change the name from ZPA to PLCIO and change the data type to Integer. For PLCIO modules, it's okay to have an RPI as low as 10 milliseconds. Let's pick 20 milliseconds for this example. Continuing to have fun, let's verify that the tags were created correctly. For our newly created tag name, there should be an integer array of 23 registers for the inputs and an integer array of 27 registers for the outputs.